Hey, I'm on a dock and chances are at some point you're gonna be on one too. We're just, uh, we're gonna give you a couple of quick pointers on things that maybe to do, what not to do, just some general courtesies on, on what you do when you're going to ship a receiver. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we go any further. Matter of fact, you know what? I'll wait. Go hit it. Waiting. All right, good for you, thank you. Let's get on with this. Going to close it? Oh, I'm getting too old. Okay. So you pull in, you go into the office, you got your paperwork, the guy, the girl behind the desk, they may be a little backed up, you might have to wait. What do you do? You know, sometimes I've done it, I've been guilty of it, I've been impatient. I wanna go, I wanna go. You know, you get a little impatient and you get a little pushy and next thing you know, you know, you're gonna sit there for four hours before they either load you or unload you. So I would have to say the number one, not rule, but let's just call it uh, courtesy, be patient. These people that are working there, they got a job to do. I'm not the end all be all of the world. When I pull in, people don't just drop their crap and rush over and take care of Brian although I wish they did, but they don't. So just remember, you know, when you walk in, realistically, you're a guest. When you pull into a, a facility to get loaded or you pull into a facility to get unloaded, once they tell you what to do, you go to door 19, open your doors back into 19, and you'll wait. There's gonna be patience. It's not all a matter of, you know, you pull in, this gets done, you pull in the door, five guys drop what they're doing, they load you and down the road you go. Number one, be patient be a little courteous. Um, the second thing um, would be yard courtesy. When you come on to somebody else's property, like I just said previously, you're a guest. So when you pull into their yard, remember that this is their yard. First of all, pedestrians have the right of way. Number two, shunt trucks. The yard dogs have priority over us. We don't cut them off, we don't give them a hard time. Actually, they can actually be your best friend if you play your cards right. The, the yard dogs that are the shunt drivers can be your best friend. They can get things done for you if you play it right. Hey guys, just a side note here. Uh, doesn't matter if you're a US driver or a Canadian driver. If you're looking for financing, hit the link at the bottom of this page. We've got it set up that one quick hit um, 20 seconds is all it's gonna take you to fill out the information and it will automatically go out there to five different finance companies. This is a great way to do this. I did it, I used it. I, I, I filled it out in Ronan's office and I don't know, I didn't make it out to the parking lot before I had my first phone call. Make these companies fight for your business. You will get a better rate that way. I'm proof of it, I say do it. Once you go into the shipping office and then they give you direction as to what you wanna do, don't stop and talk to five people. Go get in the truck, put your truck where they want it, get to the door, get yourself situated and set up. And then if you see somebody you know you wanna go shoot the crap with them, knock yourself out. Use your head, common sense. Do you need something? Well, you don't wanna be in the video? Come on, get over here. What do you, what, what do you hold on, what do you do in the office? You're a load broker. Oh, buddy, you're one of them. Come here, get in the video. Okay. Most of my life, I've been a flatbed driver and I was guilty of this early on in my career. If they're loading you or they're unloading you, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt that they're professional and they know what they're doing. You can't hover over them. And I've been guilty of doing that. Unless I see them blatantly doing something that's gonna damage my freight or my equipment, let them do their job. Don't hover. What are you doing? Oh, is that right? Oh, it's too close, it's too this, is it? Let them do their jobs. You know, you're a professional truck driver, you you know, professional truck driver. These guys are professionals too. Most of these guys on a lot of these docks have been doing this as long as I've been driving. They know what they're doing. Leave them alone. Let them do their job. That shipper receiver is not in his car following you down the road telling you how to drive. So you don't come in here and tell them how to do their job. Hold on, this pole in my ass isn't comfy, hold on. So, what did I just do? Look where I'm at, what did I just do? Big no-no, when you come onto somebody else's property, again, this is somebody else's property, we don't own this, you don't smoke, you don't eat, you don't walk in with your ham and cheese sandwich in one hand and your coffee in the other, and your paperwork under your arm. You're a professional truck driver, you are a professional. 
act like it. You come in with your paperwork. You, you, if you were smoking before you came into the building, you don't bring your cigarette in the building. We don't smoke inside buildings. You don't litter. We don't leave trash. You know, these people work here. This is what they do for a living. I guess they must think that every truck driver is stupid because they I have seen signs. No eating, no smoking, no vaping, no, sho no shoes, no shirt, no service, blah, 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 all the way down the line. It will save you time. It will save you money if you're an owner operator. And that's what we're trying to do. I want to get in here. I want to get my business done and I want to get the hell out of here as fast as possible. Freight Factoring Services, eCapital. They are the largest factoring company here in Canada and the fourth largest company in the US. I randomly interviewed four factoring companies and this one hit a home run for me. Number one is their fees. Well, their fees are between one to two and a half percent. Number two is reserves. So they pay you the entire invoice minus their fees without any reserves. Number three, recourse. They have no recourse. If the customer doesn't pay, it's not your problem. And the fourth thing is the no startup cost. If you are interested, fill in your name, your company size, and Oscar, who is a managing partner at eCapital. You can call him directly because I will be giving you his phone number. I'll add it to this video below. So the last one, and this one here, I am, I am world famous for. If we've got repeat customers, and when I say that, I mean it's customers that you go to a lot. Like you get to know, you start to get to know the people that where you're going. Now, a lot of the customers that ET goes to, I've been to dozens of times. I'm on a first name basis with a lot of these people. Become friendly with them. I've gone so far as to exchange Christmas presents. I've got guys out in Iowa and, and places and, that we, we deliver to, hey, uh, can you bring me down a pound of Canadian bacon? In the States, they don't have Canadian bacon and they love it. You know what? Sure, I'll throw a pound of Canadian bacon. And you do that two or three times. I can't tell you how many times I pulled into that receiver. I could do it right now. If I've got a pound of Canadian bacon in there, there can be 30 trucks lined up around the corner. I can go give Rory his, his Canadian bacon. I will go to the front of the line. Now, is that a little shady? Maybe, but you know what? It helps. It doesn't hurt when you walking through the yard and somebody's going, hey, Bri, when you get to know these people and sort of you get their respect, they get your respect, it will make your job easier. It really does. I do my best to say good morning, good afternoon, hi, thank you, goodbye. I use it to my advantage. It helps me more than you realize. I get in and out and my business gets done faster. Why? Because I'm a nice guy. Look at this face. I am a nice guy. Okay, there you go, guys and gals. There's five easy ones. We can all do it. It's just a matter of common courtesy and a little bit of respect. Don't forget to hit that like button, turn on your notifications and hit that subscribe button. Also, leave us your comments. Tell us what you think. We want to know. We read the comments and a lot of the times we will reply. Whether it's good or bad, let us know what you're thinking. We want to hear it. See you down the road.